nickenterprise.com. So people ask me, what do you do? And I say, I do music. And you know, I'm in the music recording studio. Sometimes I work and they say, what do you, you, you listen to music? I said, no, no, it's, it's work. You know, after the person records, there's a lot of work has to be done. So I'm taking the time now to meet Dr. Marshall. He's a professional engineer and producer. And uh, I'm gonna have him speak to y'all to explain what goes behind the scene after a person records. So Doc, thanks a lot for joining us, for giving us some of your time. We know you're busy, but thanks for taking out the time to explain to us a little bit what goes behind the scene with music. So for those who don't understand, after the person have recorded, then you take over. What do you do? What, what, give us a little idea. After we've done the recording of all the tracks that we want to record, then it comes to get mixed. Now the mixing is more technical, because with the mixing, I have to pull down everything, strip down everything, push them up one one, so we have 32 tracks of instrument, which the vocal is also an instrument. So we have 32 overall. We have to take each individual track, EQ it, now EQ is where you bring out the frequency. So if you have a drum going boop, boop, you know, you have to bring out up that boop, boop, so you hear the depths. So we have to do that with all of the tracks. Now sometimes one, one track may take you an hour. One track sometimes may take you 15 minutes just to fix. At the end of the day, what I'm trying to say, a, a song with 32 track, we're still using the figure 32 track can take you a week can take you two days, can take you a whole day, can take you three hours though, because a lot of work. But after you've done that mix and the producer, because remember, the producer is the one who's going to say, okay, Doc, I like it. I like that sound. Yes, that's where I want it, you know. So after I EQ individually tracks, then I put all of them together again and balance them. So you can hear every instrument different. Now, no instrument can't be louder than none. So the mix has to be right. So when you listen to that mix, you can hear every instrument that was played. Now, the vocal is the lead track. So that must always be above, just a little above. So when you sit back in the studio and you listen, all frequency has to be right. Sometimes you have two instruments playing the same frequency. So when you put that in the mix, they clash and crowded up the thing. So you have to separate the frequency. Because although you have a piano playing chang, and you have a guitar playing ching, basically it may fall under the same frequency. So you have to make sure you separate those frequency, meaning it's an EQ. So you have to get it right. You have to know your decibels. You have to know all of that. With my experience, it's not hard. It's easy because I know the frequency and... Now, if you get a bad recording, that's where the problem is. It's, it's harder to work on because sometimes bad recording comes with distortion. Now, distortion is it's a, it's a muted high frequency that sometimes pops your speakers. Now, sometimes you get that, which nowadays they are making plugins that can tone down the distortion. Maybe can't take it away, but you can work on it and get it to the best. So recording is very important. It's the first, it's like when you are painting a painting. If the background isn't right, the painting will not come out. You have to get that right background. So the recording has to be perfect. And um, then after the mix from you get this perfect mix, then it goes to master. Now remember, your mix has to be good because what you give the master guy is what he's going to work from. Now, if you give him a shitty mix, you get him in trouble because he's going to have to try to make that sound good. And, he, and, and honestly, he can't do nothing more than what you give him because mastering is what brings out all of that frequency now, all of that proper feel frequency that you have done, EQs. He's, he's the one now with the mastering is going to bring that out. And his job is also hard. It's a process. Now, you said that sometimes a song... And just listen up carefully. So when someone records, it sounds simple. But you said sometimes a song may have 32 tracks. Right. And you have to go through every single one of those tracks. The vocal track, 
Yes. The piano track, yes. the guitar track, and balance everything. You said it's possible that a song may take you a day. It's possible that it may take you a week. See, I want this to be highlighted because so you can understand the the the, the financial investment. When I say thirty-two tracks, sometimes you you meet on songs that have even a hundred track. Believe it or not, eighty tracks, percussions, guitars. One song of like eight guitars, a song of um, 15 keyboards, you know, I mean, a song has um, three, four, five, six kick drum, five snares, um, trust me, you buck up on these songs, and, um, and, and, and remember, all of these tracks, you have to hear them when they play differently. So when you sit back, you want to hear all of those 15 or 12 or 8 or 9 guitars. You want to hear each one of them. Plus the keyboards, you want to hear each one of them. Plus the snares, you want to hear each one of them. When all of them is playing together. 32 is a good amount, yeah. Because you have songs with 16 track. Um, as I say, it takes a lot of time. I remember when I was mixing um, Freddie McGregor, Classic One. I was born a winner. We spent two months in the studio. We black booked the studio. And we never come out. Well, I mean, I, I came out to go to the bathroom. <laughs> we lived in the studio a lot of time. And I mean, even with the Boombastic album, we record with Shaggy, we record him over, days and days and over and over. So, you know, we never stop till we get it right. Even with the mixing, we never stop till we get it right. So now we're gonna look at an example, Some, a little bit of an idea, an example. Um, so we can see a little bit of from the beginning and the middle and what goes into a little bit of a mix and and then see the end result. Give us a little step-by-step -step of what you're doing so we can have an understanding. Okay, this is a track that was mixed for NAK Enterprise. Um, this track is a hip-hop, one of NAK artists. So this is 32 tracks. Instrument, vocals, and all of this. So this is basically a finished mix. Now in the mix, I'm going to solo a couple of the tracks so you can hear the, the individual tracks. So you listen. All of this are tracks on their own, individual. And you gon' be in your feelings, popping bottles or you pillin' off the walls of all the buildings. Call a doctor, need a healing, cause I'm yacked up to the ceiling. In middle school, I was skipping in the hallway. So you have the harmonies, you have the lead, you have all different, 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 different other tracks. And then you EQ them. This is like you're putting the seasoning. Instead of we use the EQ, we're going to use the seasoning. So like the mix now, it's like you're seasoning your chicken or your beef or your, your vegetable, you know, your, your stew, you know. You have to have the right amount of seasoning. You can't make it too salt. You can't make it too fresh. You have to season salt. The mix is like... When me add the season, me have to make sure say all of that right. Because if it's not right, the dinner go spoil. So me have to add everything the right way. Make sure me know what I'm doing. Because if you can't, you ever see a bake a cake and you can't bake. And when you bake the cake, you, your personal self, when you taste it, you, oh! <laughs> Same thing with the mix. You know, so everything has to be on tea. Have to be right. So now, are we going to get a chance to listen to the finishing product of that mix? Yes. All right, so... 
Let's see what we got. I'm going to share with you a little bit about my life. I'm not going to give you the whole story, just a little bit. Because you know we have some people who sometimes, some all the time, and some none of the time. Just listen with me. Listen with me. Listen with me. In middle school, I was skipping in the hallways, trying to kick it with the ones making hard plays. It was tough, I had to take it, had some hard days, bringing pain on them every day, all day. By high school, I was tipped on to the dark ways. Mama kept me shelter, but I ran into a hard space. No handouts for me, I had to learn to make way. That's why I hustle every day, all day. So now you guys get an idea to see what goes behind the scene after recording or what's involved in a mix that there's actual work involved. Doc, we really appreciate you taking the time to Not share those problem. details with us. Anytime. 